This is a 1965 Motorola AM FM table radio model TC8BW and it's a fully transistorized set and as you can see I've got the cover removed needs to have some repairs done to it to bring it back to good working condition these were made in USA at Motorola's Quincy, Illinois radio plant and they were very well made sets take a look at the chassis it's a point to point uh, chassis here here's a transistor and if you look very carefully you could see Motorola was very creative in the fact that they're using seven pin uh, miniature tube sockets to serve as transistor sockets here's a look underneath look at that so the pins just go right through the uh, the tube pin holes in the socket and they soldered it right into place then they use the remaining pins as terminal lugs that was kind of a an interesting approach to radio construction I don't think I've ever seen that before you can see if I turn it on it's got it's got some various issues. It doesn't have much volume. And it's got this interesting high pitched sound. If I go to FM. The high-pitched issues aren't as, uh, basically don't exist. But I still have inadequate volume. And these are actually really easy radios to fix. The solid state ones because, let's face it, most of the problems encountered with these will be capacitors. It's kind of the same old story when it comes to working on this stuff and you really don't even need a schematic you just got to use your senses here like right here you got an electrolytic turn this volume down got an electrolytic that goes to the uh, wiper arm of the volume pot so that's most likely a a suspect and then you look underneath and you can see we got two more electrolytics right here and those are actually uh, Japanese electrolytics and back in the 60s those uh, the Japanese made lytics really weren't of the best quality and especially today 50 years later um, you could pretty much assume that those will be completely dried out the filter cap seems okay because we have no hum at all. Here's an American made lytic. That's probably defective too, but these ones here generally aren't as bad. So we got three suspect caps. So I'll go ahead and jumper that okay here I've got the new cap jumped in it's uh, it's a 4.7 mic at 15 volt just try that out there we go the volume's back I still got this bad screeching sound So 
So something screwed up in the uh, in the IF section. I'm just gonna jump these out. That cap goes to ground. I'll just clip my lead here. I just got a just a 40 mic cap. Well, that was easy. Consider an alternative to having a surgery performed at a hospital. Consider the Center for Minimally Invasive Surgery in Mokina. Spine and back. Where to turn? Which the worst thing you can do is take Slauson, the most experienced guard, out of there and Roberto right. out of there. That would create. Let's well, solve the a, screeching a problem. Just in the. The, the communicating of the office. And that other cap, I'm going to go ahead and just change that court. anyway as well. Williams to the right. And this one too. So I got four electrolytics to change out. And that's all it's really going to take to bring this thing back to life. Here's a look at two of the new capacitors after they've been installed. Both are Nichicons, 4.7 microfarad, axial electrolytics. And here's that one original cap. I've decided to leave it in the circuit only because the ESR tests perfectly on it. And that's kind of my pass-fail test for electrolytics. If the ESR tests really good then I find no reason to replace the cap. Not even for the sake of safety because even in my past experiences um, after putting hours and hours on a radio or TV with an original cap that has good e ESR the cap usually always uh, stays good and I don't have problems with it. Same goes with this original filter cap. The ESR tested perfectly. There's no hum at all in the audio. So I find no reason to chop up the chassis if I don't have to. And it's nice to maintain the originality of the radio as much as possible. Here are the three defective electrolytics. The ESR was so bad it didn't even register on the meter and they're date coded 6519. And I also replaced that that one cap that went to the volume control. So all it took was the replacement of three electrolytics to bring this thing back to good working order. Go ahead and turn it on. 17 apiece, fair strike first opening drive of the game. Cutler to Martellus Bennett, 12 yards. Manual. Afghanistan is... Just your scoreless later on at... Where you want them to get a run. Boss. <laughs> You ever get away? At the machine, your fate. Table, your fate is dominated by grab. Yeah. Yeah. What is yard. That's where we're at right now. Here's Ron Gleason with scoreboard. On the PNC Bank, WBBM Bears Radio Network. This Xfinity NFL scoreboard on demand shows the Vikings have opened a 20 to 3 lead over St. Louis for Daryl Patterson with a 67 yard run. The Saints lead uh, over Atlanta is down to three. It's 17. Matt Ryan with a one yard strike to Tololo. Also, Miami is tied up New England 20 all. Ryan Tannehill, second touchdown pass of the game of 14. Shop online at NapervilleCadillac.com or visit their showroom for the neighbor care. Don't have my antenna Cadillac hooked up of here. Naperville, Ogden Avenue, NapervilleCadillac.com. If it fizzles, incredible. 
film. In the new movie, The Identical. It's the story of twin brothers separated at birth. We can give everything we got to raise one child. That is it. One was an iconic 50s rock and roll star, while the other... Radio has really nice tone. McCafe Coffee. Emails. Sometimes we do not read them until a day or two later, just because of the particular game that is going on at that time. First pitch in. The radio's now been reassembled, and we're ready to try it out. At Famous Dave's in Bolingbroke, for Brad Bridge number phone, our phone number 312-644-6767. Bad day here in Chicago, the Buffalo Bills 23 and the Chicago Bears 20. A loss. Be... Strikes out eight and picks up the win and Travis Wood takes the loss. This one and the Pirates wind up with a sweep and as Pat made mention of before the end of the broadcast, the Pirates with this weekend's besides watching the pass or getting after it, those types of things, is his his presence. You know, and, and I don't know that he's won that locker room yet. He's I only mean, been here for I a mean, few how, months. How, how healthy is he? I mean, he didn't play in the pro. Why didn't yeah, he play in the preseason? Play in the preseason. Well, well, he was held out by coach's decision for the another big okie doke. Sure. You and your friends to the forest this week. It's closer than you think. I love it. Which is normally where the Nichols coverage is going to be. Mm -hmm. Liberated and pushed into the sea and destroyed. We. Be TM Plus at Ticketmaster.com slash TM Plus. It must be redeemed by May 3rd, 2015. Offer is not valid for ticket purchases outside the U.S. and Canada. For tickets, call 800 745 3000 or. But I have. Voy a regresar con los tíos. Good. Uh. Babe. 